hey guys it's the night at the moment it's like 21 it's 21 45 on wednesday video is for tomorrow um i have a mental health appointment and well i'm anxious about it but what's new there I spent last night doing this. <laughs> I've uh, been decorating my room. Good morning everybody. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi hello, my name is Lydia and today I'm doing a live update but I have got an appointment in just over an hour with my mental health team. I'm gonna quickly get ready for that. I didn't get to sleep till after 1am. Oh, no. I'm not very good with earliness. Ugh, I'm tired. Well, this brightness isn't exactly mm, any good. Um, hi. <laughs> I've got a GP appointment in an hour. Um, I think I'm going to be starting back on the other antidepressant that I used to take. So I used to take Trazodone as well as Venlafaxine and it helped. So I'm going to speak to my GP today about that. And then I'm meeting up with Becca. Still need to film my life update video. Oopsie. Looking for sure of what I'm here. My GP surgery. Um, as I said earlier, I'm gonna see about starting back on the second antidepressant. I feel like that appointment was such a waste of just time because I got booked in with a locum who doesn't know me, and I was like, "Wow, well, you need to take your health team to review at me." I'm on the recovery support team, so now I've got to wait until Tuesday. I don't mind. I, I can tell in myself that my mood's getting worse. I was like, "Is there nothing I can adjust, even slightly, like just, just, you know, just slightly, so things can improve a bit, or just make life more bearable?" I was like, "I, was like, I don't even fucking sleep, and I should. I'm on three different things for sleep." We need to give you an accurate update on how life's been since I last filmed a proper life update video. I've been 1p6, I've been sectioned, I was under the home treatment team, I was under, I'm under the current team. I've actually got a care coordinator now, That's, that is a good thing, that is a good step forward. Like, I've got recovery support team. I literally went today to see my GP to see if I could restart taking Trazodone again which is a second, would be my second antidepressant as well as the Venga vaccine which I take as well when it comes to benzos because I know it's what everyone cares about that's a problem with whichever one you want to go for um, I take clonazepam and lorazepam clonazepam I take three times a day lorazepam I take four times a day I take promethazine as well like it's literally written on my prescription I take promethazine and uh, promethazine the cure to everything it's really not like it's really fucking that. But anyway, we're tired here in morning and night now. Like a lot's changed since I last filmed the life update video. That's why I'm struggling to make this video. I'm not struggling, I'm like not hundred percent. Like I'm not like I'm not fixed, I'm not buffered, I'm not anywhere uh, near. I'm just existing. That defines perfectly how I feel right now, actually. In a state of existence. And it looks like Earth 
but it is actually an artist's impression of what a distant Earth-like planet might look like. In this imagined world, you can see continents, oceans, and clusters of cloud. The Kepler spacecraft has discovered over a thousand planets in other star systems. We call these worlds exoplanets, and some are believed to have the right conditions to support life. Pikachu! Hello! Hello, Boo! Hello, Boo! <laughs> I haven't seen you like what are you to me the in a couple of days. <laughs> I look like I'm a ghost. Why do I look like a ghost? I don't know. You do look quite pale. I mean, and your I'm eyes look like you look, like what? Your eyes look like they're half open. Yeah, like you look like you literally look like you're on drugs. I felt like that when I've been taking photos today. I'm like, yeah. what's up with me? We're trying to work out why I look like I'm maybe it's because I haven't got any eyeliner you on. But your eyeballs like put the glasses on. Well that covers up me looking like I even though I'm illiterate. I forgot my meds this morning. So did I. I just get my dose on the app. Um, I'm low-key awkward as fuck at the moment. You can see my rubber duck unicorn thing that goes on my computer. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi. I talk about mental health, my life, and recently I haven't talked about my life. So I'm doing a life update video, which um, I wasn't sure I wanted to do, just to be real with you, I, uh, I wasn't sure I was gonna actually do this because this is what caused all the trolling and the hate last time. I also realised that them kind of people are always gonna be out there and no matter what I say I do, they're always gonna have something negative to say about something that I do. Let's just be me, let's do what I wanna do for a video because why should I let people who don't even know me dictate what I can and can't talk about? What am I doing? What am I doing in my life? Why did I just do that on camera? It's okay me being weird off camera, but being weird on camera, that's a whole new level. So, let's have a chat, shall we? Look, whenever I hear that, it puts me so on edge, because I'm just like, oh my god, I'm gonna be abandoned. Yeah. If I seem really hyperactive, I haven't had my med medication today, so bad Lydia. But I thought, considering I am um, hyperactive, I yeah, I yeah. I'm an AF. Uh, this is a life update and I know my editing is a bit different now and I know I've put vlog clips in and I know it is all over the place. Lent isn't something I make not all over the place. So I've been away like for, for a hot minute. Basically last month I was in hospital. I was on a section two so that is a up to 28 day hold here in the UK. Um, I w didn't want to be in hospital but I didn't have a choice. I do have a video in the works that's like about that admission but I'm taking my time with it because there are some aspects of it that I don't want to share. To not want to share things. That's my right as a human being. I was in hospital for a month. Mm, not 100 percent like, i'm not self-harm free you know and i haven't been self-harm free since like last year now like i've been struggling with self-harm for a long time and i was i was clean for a few years and then last year in the admission that i had in may i started self-harming again and it got it got bad and it, it's it's not bad, that bad anymore, but it is something that I still struggle with. And, you know, I'm not going to hide that from people because, you know, yes, I am ashamed that I went back to that. But when it comes down to the fact that it's that or I let the suicidal feelings build up and then I make an attempt on my life. But I felt like I couldn't come back to YouTube fully without posting an explanation for what the fuck's been going on with me since like last summer because i've watched back a lot of my old videos from i say old I've, I've watched back a lot of videos from after the trolling started i can see in myself that i just wasn't me because i was getting bullied for being me then i was getting bullied for acting out of character then i got bullied for sharing my life then i got bullied for just existing no that's a lot for anyone's deal with people forget that yeah you're watching me on the screen but i'm a real fucking person i have a i, I have my own life what, 10 20 minutes out of a day you don't see me when i'm at uni you don't see me when i'm in an appointment you see me sitting in front of a camera when i've set it up you didn't see the admission that i just had you didn't see what like the ins and the outs of what happened so i don't know what i want to remind people is yes 
I choose to put my life out here. I choose to make videos. That's not an open invitation to harass, bully, slander, or anything like that. It's not okay to send hate. It's not okay to troll someone. I see it all the same way. It all constitutes bullying. And I've gone from answering these people to any hint of any of it or any association with these people. I've gone full on zero tolerance. I don't take it anymore. I, I don't know what I did to make her hate me, but people will come in out of lives no matter what we say or what we do. And it's learning to accept that that gets us through things. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon with a new video. Please be kind to me. <laughs> like, if you don't like me, you don't have to be here. You could just, it's like colder on my flat than it is outside. <laughs> fun. Anyway, bye guys.